Hey guys, good morning and welcome back again to your Unacademy Nate English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. So my dear students, in this particular session, I'm going to talk about my subject, you know, that's chemistry. In this particular session, I'll be exactly letting you know how you can master the subject chemistry, which is your second most scoring subject after your biology is concerned, right? My dear students, remember one thing. If you are scoring more than 160 in your chemistry, your selection is guaranteed. Now, a lot of people must be thinking whether 160 plus is possible in the NEET examination in chemistry or not. The answer is a big yes. My dear students, few things which you need to keep your, into consideration and I'm pretty much sure, I'm 100% sure you're going to crack chemistry and with the help of chemistry, you're going to crack this NEET examination as well. So, in this particular session, I will be letting you know all the things which are required, which you need to keep into your mind throughout these nine months till the NEET 2025 examination by means of which you can master the subject chemistry. Point number one. <clears throat> I have seen majority of the students making one mistake. That is not following the proper sequence when it comes to the subject chemistry. You know, you should be knowing it by now. Imagine that you are starting thermodynamics without uh, without studying the gas laws, without studying the mole concept, it is all going to be in vain, right? Imagine that you are starting electrochemistry without doing the redox reactions, it's all going to be in vain. So my dear students, in chemistry, proper sequence is required. Every chapter is interrelated basically, right? So you cannot start redox reaction without mole concept. You cannot start electrochemistry without redox reaction. So all the chapters, they are interconnected okay so first of all following the proper sequence in the subject chemistry that is the most important point which a lot of students avoid by means of which they do not perform well in chemistry and eventually they do not perform well in their neat examination as well so the sequence which i am giving you my dear students please and please follow this particular sequence only and only when it comes to your physical when it comes to your inorganic and when it comes to your organic chemistry and Look here exactly. In your physical chemistry, always you'll be starting with the mole concept because mole is the foundation of all your physical chemistry. Without mole, you cannot start anything. So make sure you complete. When you start your preparation, you complete the mole concept in an amazing way, right? Followed by your redox, electro, thermodynamics, equilibrium, kinetics, solution, and at the end, you can go for atomic structure, right? It's so why I have kept atomic structure separately because atomic structure is not related to these chapters, the other chapters of your physical. So you can study atomic structure in the beginning or at the end. It's not related to any other thing. It's a completely different chapter. Okay. Now, these particular points, these particular chapters, okay, which are marked over here, these particular chapters are your high weighted chapters, which you cannot miss out in it at any cost, right? These are your high weighted chapters. When it comes to inorganic periodic classification, then uh, then go to your bonding, then DNF coordination P block. Bonding and coordination, they are your high weightage chapters when it comes to the inorganic chemistry. And my dear students, organic, your GOC isomerism, high weightage, followed by your hydrocarbon, then alcohol phenol ether, aldehyde ketones, carboxylic acid. These are again your high weightage chapters in your organic chemistry, which you cannot miss out at all. But my dear students, like we have mole concept which forms the foundation of physical chemistry. In the similar way, in order to start the organic chemistry, I would, I would highly recommend to make your chemical bonding very, very, very strong. Do not start your organic chemistry without studying chemical bonding. My dear students, chemical bonding. If your chemical bonding is strong, then there is high probability your organic chemistry will be strong. If you have problem in chemical bonding chapter, then there will be problem in your inorganic as well as your whole organic chemistry. So it's highly recommended before starting your organic chemistry, go for chemical bonding first. Complete the chemical bonding. Now you must be thinking from where you need you can complete the chemical bonding. Guys, on this particular channel, you can go to the playlist, right? There are all the chapters basically completed. You can check any of the one shot where in every chapter we have discussed like in 8, 8, 10, 10 hours, right? You can cover it from there. Or if you are following our live sessions, which we take every day on this particular channel, then that's going to be more than sufficient for you. So one recommendation here, without doing bonding, do not start the organic. And once you are done with the bonding, then you can go for the organic. And do not directly jump into the chapters in organic. Start with your GOC. 
basically start with your IUPAC nomenclature, then go for your GOC and isomerism and follow this particular sequence, right? Now, you know, your chemistry, it's highly volatile. It's highly vol volatile. If you study one chapter today, after seven days, you won't be remembering it. So my dear students, you have to remain in touch with chemistry every single day. That's why I highly recommend all the students. I highly recommend all the students to at least give three hours to chemistry every single day. Every single day, you have to give minimum three hours to chemistry, right? Do not take a break. Do not take a break in between. For example, you are studying seven hours chemistry today. Then you are taking the break for three, four days. No, do not do that. Chemistry, it needs consistency, right? It needs consistency. It needs discipline, right? It needs to be studied every single day so that you remain in touch with chemistry. Otherwise, you are going to forget it for sure, okay? Now, my dear students, for example, what I'm talking about exactly? You need to give three hours to your chemistry. Let, let, let day one be for physical. Let day two be for inorganic. Let day three be for organic. And then rotate again. Rotate again. Okay. Now, the most important thing. What a lot of students do in chemistry, they try to study theory a lot. They avoid the problems. They avoid the question practice. Right? Be it in organic, inorganic, or even in physical. My dear students, keep one thing in mind. 40% of your time, you are going to give to your theory part. 40% of your time you are going to give uh, to study all the different concepts. And the remaining 60% of your time has to be for the question practice. Whether you are doing the question practice for physical, for organic or inorganic does not matter. Just understand and remember one thing. 40% of the time should be, for the, uh, should be for the concept clearance. And 60% of the time should be there for the solving. Now, solving from where you can do. I'm pretty much sure you all will be having the coaching materials, authentic coaching materials. You can consult them right? If you are the book lovers, if you are the book lovers, if you want to solve from the book, then I would highly recommend you to go for these three books. NOST, not for JE. It is particularly for NEAT. Basically, NOST comes for NEAT version. It comes as a JE version as well. You can consult uh, NOST for NEAT, for physical, if you are the book lovers, right? If you get the confidence while you do things from the book, okay? Then MS Johan is for organic, particularly for NEAT. Go for that one. And OP Tundon, you can consult your inorganic question practice, right? I'm talking about those students who love to do things from the book, who do not prefer the coaching materials. But I would suggest, first, if you have the authentic coaching materials, then follow them only. If you are not the coaching module person, you are the bookish person, then you can consult these particular books, depending on what exactly you like the most, right? Now, guys, when it comes to your physical chemistry, say, Physical chemistry, you can miss out your NCRT. You can do that. Without doing NCRT in your physical, you can still perform well. But if you want 100% in your physical, then you have to consider NCRT as well, right? But without NCRT also, you can score 80, 85% for sure, right? When it comes to physical chemistry. So first of all, physical, you have to cover the lectures. I, will, I would highly recommend you the lectures of this particular channel for physical, definitely, because I've taught each and every single thing in detail on this particular channel, every problem pattern touched, every single thing touched, right? You can, I'm highly recommend you guys, I'm highly recommending you guys what to watch those particular videos. After the lectures, whatever DPPs you have, you can go for them and then PYQs, right? This much is enough. Or if you want, if you do not want to miss out a single thing in physical also, then you can go for NCRT as well. But for your inorganic and organic, you cannot miss out the NCRT. Be it the NCRT reading, be it the NCRT in-text questions, be it the NCRT exercise questions. Rest of all the things are same, right? Now, what has to be the flow of the events which you guys will be doing? This is something which I almost tell in my every session, guys, right? If you want to make your chemistry strong, then there's a sequence of the things which you need to follow, right? And if you follow this particular sequence of the things in subject chemistry particularly, you cannot miss out a single question in the NEET examination for sure. The chapter which you start, first of all, check its lecture, whether you are... Uh, studying from your offline or online batch or the YouTube, right? Go for the authentic lectures. Get trained by the teachers who have produced the ranks. Watch their lectures only. Keep this particular thing in mind. Number one. Number two, while watching the lecture, you have to make notes on your own. Do not rely on the session PDFs. This is my second and the most important point which I want to communicate. Do not rely on the session PDFs, right? Make notes on your own. After, once you are done with the note making during the lecture, whatever questions your teacher has done, in the lecture, try to solve the same questions again without seeing the solution on the same day, on the same day. Then you can go for your DPP solving. 
If you are the DPP lover, the coaching material lover, go for DPP. If not, if you are the bookish person, go for the book which I gave you, right? Then NCRT in-text questions if you want to score 100% in your chemistry. NCRT in-text as well as exercise questions, as well as NCRT reading, right? Of that particular topic which your teacher has covered in the lecture. Then go for your PYQs. Now, a lot of students must be thinking whether we have to go for only neat PV PYQs. Better is to go for last 5 to 10 year NEET PYQs as well as your JE mains PYQs. Because my dear students, nowadays the level of your NEET and your JE mains is almost the similar, it's almost the same. Just remember one thing, 20% of the questions which are asked in your JE mains, they are repeated in your NEET examination. Okay, 20%, directly or indirectly they are repeated. And at the end, just follow the mock test of the chapter, you are done, you are sorted. Because, see, this is the most important thing over here. Because in chemistry, you can predict the paper basically. In chemistry, you can do that. In physics, you cannot do that. In biology, you cannot do that. But in chemistry, you can predict the paper, right? For example, let's talk about thermodynamics. If the question is asked from thermodynamics, we, we already know either it's going to be from thermodynamic processes or it's going to be for entropy or it's going to be from the enthalpy part or it's going to be the Gibbs free energy part. These are the four short short topics from which question for sure is going to come. Electrochemistry, Lernest equation, conductance, cold Ross law, right? So in chemistry, you can predict the questions and you can predict the questions, my dear students, if you solve the PYQs. Once you solve the PYQs, you exactly get the insights, you exactly get the idea of what are the sure shot, what are the favorite topics which are asked in a particular chapter when it comes to the NEET examination or even the JE examination, right? So PYQ solving is the most important when it comes to preparing chemistry for NEET or even JE examination, right? And my dear students, do you know what is important in chemistry? Say, in chemistry, you get three to four questions which will be directly formula based, right? You get three to four questions which will be the direct reactions from the organic chemistry taken from NCRT. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend all of you to make the formula sheets from now itself, right? And write the organic reactions on separate sheets and try to try to revise them the formula sheet as well as organic reactions try to revise them every single day for at least 10 to 15 minutes that's how you can you are not going to miss out the six to eight questions which will be from just these two parts right formula sheets and organic reaction sheets and just write those organic reactions on your sheets which are given you in your ncrt right just those okay naming reactions separately SN1 reaction separately, SN2 reaction separately, E1, E2 reaction separately, right? You can make your sheets like that, okay? And I'm pretty much sure if you do that, if you keep on revising them 10 to 15 minutes every single day, six to eight questions will be yours for sure from these two things, right? And my dear students, the books which I told you, if you are the book lovers, then go for these books, okay? First, I would prefer you to solve the coaching materials, authentic coaching materials, right? And if you do not like to solve the modules, the coaching materials, then go for these books. Otherwise, do not go for these books. I'm telling you here only, right? If you are not the module person, then go for these books. Otherwise, do not. Just keep these things into your consideration, right? Just do these things. And my dear students, chemistry, it's always easy. It's not difficult, right? It is just you need to be consistent. You need to keep revising things again and again so that all of these things will remain into your mind all the time, right? So that's how you become master of the chemistry. That's how you become the god of chemistry, guys, right? That's what I would want you guys to do, okay? I would want you guys to follow all these things with 100% honesty and trust me, people, you are easily going to shoot the bullseye when it comes to the subject chemistry, right? 